Um, example three. Find the acceleration and tension on the string for the system below this one here. Find the acceleration and tension on the string for the system below. That's one here. So for this one, let's do the same thing there. Let's find acceleration and tension on string. Alright, so as usual, my first task define now listen. Observe that in this question I have two angles, have it? Yes. Yeah, so define them. So I would say uh, perhaps now since I know it will move in this direction, have it? Obviously, it's gonna go in this direction. So I'll call this M1. So I'll say um, let M1 be equal to this one here, yeah? 15 kg. Um, M2 be equal to this one here, yeah? 6 kg. Theta 1 be equal to, now listen, listen. Theta 1 must be equal to the angle of M1. If I'm calling this as M1, I cannot call it theta 1. Please, theta 1 must be the angle of M1. That's what there. Yeah? 50 degree and theta 2 is equal to this one here yeah? 30 degrees so I have to speak. we've defined direction using the concept of the greater mass ok so what next get that uh, what is called three body diagram concept so my next idea will now be for this one obviously we will be sliding this way a bit so this is M1. So what we get? No, 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 no. What we get? M1 what? G. G. The G there. So it becomes M1 G sine theta. What we get? M2 G sine theta. So I have this. This and this. Alright, so next up, it's coming this way, tension will act in opposite direction. It's coming this way, tension will act in what there? Yeah? Opposite direction. This becomes T and T. Please, we will be doing more examples. We've looked at one is one angle, we're not looking at two angles. So look at T1 and T2. What if I have two different rooms? What do I do? What if I have three different rooms? What do I do? What if I choose to connect a second row to this? That's this room and this room. What would you do? <laughs> right, look up, look up, look up, look up. Let's now draw the idea. Go to the idea. Let's draw a free body diagram. Draw a free body diagram. FDD. Free body diagram. Let's start with this one here. Yeah? For mass M1, for mass M1, what have I got? I have this one here. Yeah? So you have this one. This is 15 kg. So 15 kg. Coming downward is M1g and theta. Going upward is T. So it becomes T. Let's get sum of plus 1. This is equal to, obviously this body is going in the, is to fall this way. So the one that goes in the same direction is this one. So it becomes M1G sine. Now hang on. Hang on. Now listen. Listen. Come to the music of this place. How many things do you have here? So it becomes what there? Theta 1 and what there? Theta 2 is. And it becomes theta 1, theta 1. So specify the angle. Theta 1, theta 2. Alright. Next up, T is going in the opposite direction. It becomes minus T. But I know that the sum of F1 is equal to M1A. So I have that M1G sine theta 1 minus T is equal to M1A. Here's your first equation. 
All right, next up, for mass M2, for mass M2, what have I got? Uh, this one, yeah? This is 6 kilogram down and up. Up, yeah, is T, tension. Down here is N2, N2G sine theta 2. So get the sum of N2. Now the equal to now look at this. This body, since one is coming down here, this one has to move in this way. So this body is going this way. So that means this one becomes positive, same direction. That becomes T minus uh, opposite direction that becomes n 2 g sine theta 2 of course since the man said what let me use recall so recall that sigma f2 is equal to m 2 a um, sigma f2 F2 is this, so it becomes T minus N2G sine theta 2. This is sigma F2 is equal to M2A. Call this function 2. Let's get T from here. But T is equal to M2A. This man comes here, becomes plus n 2 g sine theta 2 ok so what next uh, put t into this so put t into equation 1 that's this so it becomes m1g sine theta 1 minus t t is this value m 2 a plus M2G sine theta 2. So this minus T is equal to M1A. So expand this, it becomes M1G sine theta 1. Alright, so minus to this minus m2a minus m2a minus to this minus m2g sine theta 2 is equal to m1a to take the a's together bring this over here so it means that M1G sine theta 1, this one here, yeah? minus M2G sine theta 2 is equal to this one here, yeah? M1A minus comes and becomes plus M2A. Factorize out the A, um, M1G sine theta 1 minus M2G sine theta 2 is equal to M1 plus M2A. So to get A, divide both sides by this. That is A will now be equal to M1G sine theta 1 minus M2G sine theta 2 all over M1 plus M2 Alright So A will now be equal to Please help me in big value space What's M1? Becomes 15 uh, G 9.8 Sine theta 1 Sine theta 1 is 50 Minus M2, M2 is 6, 
into G. G is 9.8 into sin theta 2. Uh, sin theta 2 is um, 30 all over M1 plus M2, 15 plus 6. So A is equal to, please punch all of this. What do you get? Sorry? Point two one approximately all of what that so a is equal to what you get 3.96 meters per second square. Let's get tension please. So that's your value consideration for tension. For tension, please help me recall any of the equation, please. C minus M two G sine theta two equal to what? There. Eh? All right. So let's get C here. Simply move this man over here. So it means that C is equal to M two A minus comes here plus M two G. Sin theta 2. So this one comes and becomes positive. So t is now equal to the good value m2 times a. m2 is 6. 6 times a, a is this 3.96 plus m2. m2 is 6 into g 9.8 into sine theta 2. theta 2 is 30. Because 30. Please give me this one. You're holding it there. This one here. 23.76. Last one is 77. I wonder how you got the extra one from. Point is what do you guys? 29 points. 29.4. Right. Um, C is equal to sum these two. Sorry? 53 points. 1, 6. Newton. Alright, so that's how it's done. This is how you solve this question.